about nine days old, I had bowel problems. My whole, my large bowel was removed. Um, and then at two and a half, I was diagnosed with uh, medullary thyroid cancer. So they put, you know, two and two together and they came up with this multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2B. So without that early diagnosis, you know, at two and a half, um, I probably wouldn't be here right now. They removed my thyroid completely, so it didn't then spread to other various points of my body. With the early diagnosis, they were able to remove it and help me in my early days to have as much of a normal life as possible as such. I have blepharitis, recovering from malignant melanoma. I have thyroid issues. I've got an upper GI uh, issue with GERD. I've got a, a stomach issue where I've had my large bowel removed. Um, I have bone and joint pain. That I suffer with fatigue. There's always something uh, to look at. There's always something to, to get checked. There's never been a, a whole complete year that I've just not had anything to worry about. It's, it's tiring, but I suppose as you get older, it gets easier in some cases. <laughs> Recently, I've had my adrenalectomy on my right hand side. That was quite difficult for me because that was my next major operation that I had since my uh, malignant melanoma on my face in 2008 so it's quite a lot to take in when you just think things have calmed down and it's something else that creeps up so you're always adapting to what's coming at you. <laughs> Growing up having such a rare uh, disorder I did grow up thinking I was the only one with it there wasn't any information out there it was all on our own, so we only had the support of each other. It makes me feel quite lucky to have found a man who's offering this support and help that I need. Because I think back to, say, a year ago, when I didn't even know Amend was around, feeling I was so alone in this, that, you know, the doctors don't quite know how to deal with me, I don't know how to deal with myself, what am I looking for? And I am now happy to say that I'm hopefully going to get the right care that I deserve, especially who will now know about my condition. So I'll get the best care now, not just be a guessing game. To have someone now out there who knows a bit about my condition, the support is really quite fundamental to how things will now progress in the future for me. The doctor said that they didn't expect her to live past the age of five. Because she was such a poorly baby, they just didn't know and they just thought that she probably wouldn't get, you know, to, to school age. She's exceeded all expectations of what the hospitals have said, that, you know, she wouldn't make it this far. She's proved them all wrong and we're very proud of her.